yes, we've got a brand new EDM sound pack here in GarageBand and Logic Pro in iOS. So in this video, I'm going to break it down and let you know what we got. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to Studio Live today. Yes, this is not a drill, a brand new producer sound pack from Hardwell here in GarageBand iOS and Logic Pro on your iPad. Let's dive in and see what we got in this new pack. This is a pretty big one. We've got 400 Apple Loops, five drum kits. We've got more than 40 Alchemy synth patches and a live loops grid. To get this, all you need to do here in GarageBand is go to your sound library. Right up the top there, we'll have the Hardwell well producer pack hit the get button like i'm about to do now and it'll download ready to rock and roll ready to dance once downloaded you can hit the preview button here to take a listen to some samples from the pack or hit the play button to watch a video all about hardwell if you want to learn more let's dive in now and check out these sounds we're going to tap on audio recorder here in GarageBand and tap on the tracks view here so that we can take a look at these apple loops to get to these hit the loops button here in the top right corner and what we want to do is actually filter by this new pack we're going to tap on the filter by button here go to sound packs and we want to find this one by scrolling down it's in alphabetical order tap on hardwell hit the filter by button go back to apple loops and here are all of the loops included in this pack as mentioned this pack is focused around edm electronic dance music is what the kids are calling it these days there's a heap of stuff in here you got synths you got arps you got chords you got risers you got pads you got lead sounds there's a bunch in here let's take a quick listen to a couple of the cool sounds that you can use here in Apple Loops. You know I love a bass, let's check out the higher level synth bass. To preview one of these, we just tap on the preview button. That is next level cool. To bring one of these loops into our project, simply tap and hold and drag across into a blank track. And now when we hit play, there's our sound. This pack has some amazing lead and synth sounds in here as well. I kind of love this hovercraft view synth lead. Again, preview. Very cool. Tap and drag and drop it into another track. And now we can take a listen to this. It wouldn't be EDM without a riser. Let's take a listen to this Mad Hatter riser. Love the build there. Let's drop that into our project as well. And you can see that you can quickly create some pretty unique sounds using the amazing sounds in this brand new pack. As well as our Apple Loops, we've got drum kits to use. So let's explore those now. We'll come over to our drums to start with and tap on more sounds. Now to find these, we can go in here to recently downloaded and then find the pack. Scroll down here. This one's not in alphabetical order just to make it nice and interesting. There is hardware. And here are the five kits. we got Cosmic Debris, Dark Magic, Hardwired Heavy Industry, and Radium Strobe. I like the sound of Hardwired, so let's select that kit. And we can play this kit. Just like any of our other drum machines or drum sounds. To record in some drums, just hit record. Another cool way to add drums is to use the beat sequencer. Again, go to drums, tap on beat sequencer, and this time in the bottom left there where it says modern 808, tap on that one. And once again, recently downloaded, find this pack. We know where it is this time. Down here, there is Hardwell. This time, let's try the dark magic. As soon as we tap on this, it's going to start playing a very cool sequence here in the beat sequencer. Now we can change this up by tapping the different kit pieces on here. We can randomize it. We can do a bunch of cool stuff. Heaps of videos here on the channel showing you how to use beat sequencer. To record in this beat, all we need to do is hit the record button. Now, I always love it when these sound packs include some alchemy synth sounds as well. To access these, go to your keyboard, tap on more sounds, and what you want to do is scroll up to the top here, go to recently downloaded, then scroll to the bottom, tap on hardwell, and check this out. Look at all these bass patches. We've got a bunch of lead patches and even some synth patches here. Let's try out a couple of these. I like the look of this one, the big wave lead. I think it'll work for this track, so let's tap on that one and... That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can add this to our project. Mm -hmm. 
Let's explore some more of these sounds. We're going to hit the plus button here, go again to more sounds and make sure we're in this hard world pack. We need a bass for this one. What is the G-O-D-D bass? I'm intrigued. What is this going to sound like? Holy dooly, that might be a bit intense, but don't worry, to change the sound, we just need to tap on here. What about if we go with something more like the pure kick bass? Like a bit of a kick drum sound there. These are all very heavy sounds. Uh, let's just try one more here. What about a society bass? That is really cool. Let's use this and sit that as a pad under our track. Now that's a heap of really cool stuff to experiment with, but there's one more thing in this pack and that is a brand new Live Loops grid. So here in your main screen, tap on Live Loops and you're gonna open your Live Loops grid. We need to scroll across until we find the new Hardwell pack. There it is, tap on that one and it's gonna open up a Live Loops grid. If you haven't used Live Loops before, very cool. Tap on a column, tap on individual sounds and you can record and mix and match your own project using all of these loops. There you have it, brand new sounds for your projects in GarageBand and Logic Pro here in iOS. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording and releasing your best music right here in GarageBand on your iPad or iPhone, check out the other videos down in the description and I'll see you next time.